Hey guys, so with Valentine's Day within another day or so, uh, I'm hoping to post this video either the day before or two days before Valentine's Day of 2014. Uh, the reason why is, uh, from what I know about my schedule right now, it seems like Valentine's Day itself is going to be a busy day for me. Not because I have, you know, Valentine's Day plans, but just a lot of things going on that day. Um, and also, you'll, you'll see why uh, throughout this video, because uh, in today's video, what I want to talk about is um, things that I would highly recommend, uh, you know, I would personally highly recommend uh, giving to your man or woman lover for Valentine's Day for this year. Uh, a lot of these things are pretty obvious, but I am going to go into some film-related gift ideas that might be kind of neat, uh, specifically because uh, these some of these film-related stuff is quite romantic and quite good uh, for a Valentine's Day gift also. So uh, since I've done great films for Valentine's Day in the past, I figure for this year, I really, I really want to talk about not just film-related stuff, but just great gifts in general for Valentine's Day. Uh, so let's start off with the obvious, um, looking at my list here of things that I wrote down. Um, so obviously here, the obvious is, you know, candy. Most people are going to give candy on Valentine's Day. Uh, next one's pretty obvious too is chocolate, you know, whether it's uh, like Snickers kind of chocolate or like, you know, chocolate in the heart box and things like that. All that kind of stuff is always really nice. Uh, one thing I've noticed throughout the years too is like, let's say you have someone who, you know, that you really care about that really likes Reese's or M&M's or things like that. They also have heart shaped boxes for those things now too. So I think that's kind of neat how they're making it more exclusive to those kind of candies as well. Um, flowers, that's another really obvious one. Uh, if you're getting something for a woman, uh, it's always, you know, a nice pair of earrings as we'll always do. So earrings is for a woman. Uh, nice cologne for a man is always nice. Uh, there's some really nice colognes out there. Uh, and then here's something for the Madison, Wisconsin area residents, and that's uh, something called Gigi's Cupcakes. Uh, it's over by the Hilldale Mall area and over where Sundance Cinema is in the Madison area. Um, they have some really good cupcakes there, and I wouldn't be shocked if around Valentine's Day, the week of Valentine's Day, you know, they're going to have the Valentine's Day exclusive cupcakes there, you know, like heart cupcakes and maybe some strawberry heart cupcakes. And uh, I know for Christmas time, they have like Grinch cupcakes and things of that nature. So it'll be interesting to see what they do this year for Valentine's Day, because I'm sure they're going to do something really, really neat with that. Um, so Gigi's Cupcakes, a great place for cupcakes for those uh, who want to give that to their lover for Valentine's Day. Now on to the film-related stuff, the stuff that I really think is really quite worthy of getting uh, for DVD or Blu-ray, uh, whatever your lover has for Valentine's Day. Uh, the first one's pretty obvious for at least for those who know me and who have followed me over the past year uh, with videos. Uh, is Enough Said on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, it came out not too long ago. I'd say around early January it came to DVD and Blu-ray. And uh, I gotta say, this is a very good romance comedy. It's just It just has so much to say about the current state of parenthood and uh, you know, kids going off to college, and every single joke in this movie is uh, on the bar. It just really, really works with this comedy and its romance, and uh, I think it's a really terrific uh, DVD or Blu-ray to give somebody for Valentine's Day. It just It's a really heartwarming movie that really just shows how brilliantly written, uh, specifically in this romance comedy genre, can be if you have the right writer and the right director working on it. Enough said is just a truly terrific film. This one I've recommended in the past, I think even in other Valentine's Day related videos, I've recommended this one, and that's Hitch on DVD with Will Smith. Uh, really good movie, Eva Mendez and uh, Kevin James are in it too. Uh, just a really, a good romance comedy for men, and you know, being it is a romance comedy, obviously women are already fall in love with it as well. Uh, it just has a lot to say about dating, and I think it really has a lot to say about, um, you know, just good life advice in general in it. Uh, Will, Will Smith really gives a nice, smooth performance in it, and um, yeah, it, it just has a lot to say about, you know, the current state of relationships and, you know, kind of people's observations and, you know, professionals' observations of good, healthy relationships. So that Hitch is another really good one to get on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, another one that's good, and it's actually probably not what a lot of people are going to recommend, uh, and mostly because it's uh, there's romance in it, there's comedy in it, uh, but it's mostly a spy movie, uh, but it's kind of an interesting take on romance. That's why I'm recommending this one, and it's Get Smart on DVD or Blu-ray, the one with Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway. I, I really like that movie. I, I think it has a really 
interesting approach on romance in it. And when you see the film, you know what I mean. Uh, I think, uh, what's his name? I think his name is Peter Seagal. Uh, really underrated director. Uh, I really love Grudge Match, what he did last year. Very underrated movie. Um, yeah, Get Smart's a really good one to get for your lover for Valentine's Day. Just a really good movie. Uh, really good romance scenes in it, too. Then the next one was a very underseen movie in 2012, and uh, I really think more people would really, really like this movie if they give it a chance and watch it. It's Ruby Sparks on DVD and Blu-ray. A uh, really good movie. It just um, really hits all the right notes. It's just it's a very good romance movie. I mean, the Ruby Sparks and this um, Calvin, who's the writer, played by Paul Dano in the movie, just some really good romance scenes. And I even dated a girl at one point that you know we sat down and watched it one night, and uh, she fell in love with it right away. Uh, really good movie. Really well written. Uh, it's definitely a film that both the man and the woman will really like as they watch it. Uh, Silver Linings Playbook's a pretty obvious one, uh, but once again, just a really well-written romance film. It just goes to show that, you know, we don't need to have all these films about these super attractive, you know, people and, you know, these really 100% perfect lives and things. Because in this film, you'll really see, I mean, these people with these disabilities really, really struggle on a lot of different everyday things. And I really liked how Silver Linings Playbook was not only respectful to, you know, people with these disabilities overcoming these things on a daily basis, but it really kind of showed how this guy and this girl who, you know, eventually became, you know, it eventually formed into a relationship, but it, they really had to make it work over, over time. They really had to, uh, you know, really realize kind of the value of having each other in their lives. Or, and I'm talking about, you know, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence in the movie. And uh, just a, definitely one of David O. Russell's better films, a much, much, much better than the, American Hustle that came out last year. Way, way light years better than that. Um, so yeah, that's another really good one to pick up on DVD or Blu-ray, which is, like I said, Silver Linings Playbook. Very good romance comedy for sure. Uh, a little, little bit dark, but it, it's really good. So those are my recommendations, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, what, what are you going to get your you know friend or girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, mother or father for Valentine's Day? Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you thought of these recommendations, and I will see you here for the next video.